Hey guys, John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well and welcome back to the channel. Recently on YouTube, Glenn Fricker from Spectre Sound Studios posted some videos that were a little bit controversial. One of them was about guitar pickups and how they don't really matter. And in that video, he had a guitar that allowed you to switch the pickups in and out without having to remove the strings and stuff like that. And he swapped some pickups in and out and compared them. And in that video, he basically concluded that the differences between various pickups are basically negligible. And that the differences between various pickups are basically blown up for marketing purposes, basically to make us buy more pickups. Now, one thing that I found a little bit limiting about that video was the fact that he only used pickups from that brand. So he didn't shoot out Seymour Duncan's, DiMarcio's or EMG's or what have you, only the pickups from that brand. And who knows how they vary in sound. So in that video, I don't think that he did enough to prove the point, but that's just my personal opinion. And then later he posted another video where he basically took that claim one step further and stated that the tonal differences between guitars, so the body woods, the constructions, the strings, the scale length, and of course the pickups are also quite negligible. So all those variables supposedly don't really matter all that much, especially not in a finished product like a full mix or a record or, you know, a full band production. And in that video, he did a blind test shootout with a bunch of guitars and claimed that they basically all sound the same. So I thought, you know what, let me test this out for myself and make my own comparison on this channel. So that's what we're going to do right now. So in this video, I'm going to do a quick comparison of four guitars that I have in the same tuning. So that's drop C with the same string gauges. Let me give you a quick rundown of the guitars and let me also discuss how these guitars sound in my experience. Because you guys have not played these actual guitars, so you guys are not really familiar with the tonal differences between these guitars. So I think that it's appropriate that I discuss the tonal qualities that these guitars have to offer. And this little list will be in no particular order, by the way. Let's start with my ESP LTD SC20 Stefan Carpenter six string guitar. And this guitar has a neck through construction. It has a 25.5 scale length. We've got an Emini board, a maple neck and alder body wings. And the pickup that I'm using here is the bridge pickup, which is a Seymour Duncan JB, a classic pickup. And of course it's a passive pickup. So it has those passive qualities. It's very dynamic sounding. It's quite clear sounding as well with a lot of definition and it's quite chunky, but the alder body and the maple neck give this a nice and tight sound as well. So this overall guitar sounds nice and tight, if you ask me anyway. Pretty aggressive sounding, but still very balanced. A great guitar for rock and metal indeed. I really like this guitar. And then next up, we've got my ESP LTD NW44 guitar. It's basically an Eclipse, not really thick, but this one also has a 25.5 inch scale, which is kind of uh, interesting for an Eclipse because they usually have a shorter scale. This one has a mahogany body with a maple cap and also an ebony board. Only one pickup in this one. And the pickup in this guitar really sets itself apart from my other guitars in tone, I think. It has a really defined and clear sound, this bare knuckle aftermath. It's so clear that it almost sounds like a single coil pickup basically, but with the beefiness of a humbucker pickup. So in my opinion, this really sounds very unique and I really love using this guitar for that very reason. So tons of clarity, but also plenty of girth for the palm mutes and just a great rock and metal guitar overall. Next up is my ESP LTD EC1000T Full Thickness Eclipse. This is a standard scale eclipse in that it has a 24.75 inch scale. So a bit of a shorter scale when compared to the first two guitars. And this one is a full thickness guitar, so it's nice and girthy. All mahogany, so no maple cap, I believe. Ebony board as well. And this one has active EMG pickups. And I'm gonna use the 57 that's in the bridge right here. And because of the overall construction and woods, this guitar has a bit of a fatter and warmer sound. It has a very big sort of low end and it's not as clear and bright sounding as the other guitars, especially not the guitars with the passive pickups. So the highs are rounded off quite nicely. And overall, this one is a bit more guttural sounding and a little bit more slightly sort of tubby sounding. And the EMG pickup in this one sort of makes the sound a little bit more compact, basically. It's not as compressed as an 81 pickup, 
but it still has that active pickup sound and that attack that we know from an active pickup. So it's a little bit more compressed than the passive pickups. But yeah, so basically the clarity and the highs are a little bit more subdued on this guitar, at least in my opinion. And then finally, we've got one of my Phoenixes, my ESP LTD Phoenix Black Metal. I've got two of these, and this one has the Fishman Fluence Modern Ceramic Pickup in the bridge position over here, which I will be using in the active voicing. This guitar is made out of mahogany. It also has an ebony board, and the scale length is also 25.5 inches long. Now this pickup, at least in the active voicing, sounds quite compressed as you would expect from an active pickup. And also basically makes your amp sound as if there's a boost pedal in front. So it has that sort of mid hump going on with a slight low cut as well to make it sound more tight. For me, at least in my head, it's quite easy to tell this one apart from the rest as well because that active pickup voicing in here is just very pronounced and very unique when you compare it to my other guitars. So now let's go ahead and do a blind test. So I recorded some very simple riffs with some palm muting, some open notes and some open chords and stuff like that. And I played them through the exact same XFX3 preset with an own hammer IR from the Moabi custom package, the down tuned cabinet, which sounds awesome by the way. And let's just see if you guys can guess which one is which based on your own knowledge and also based on the descriptions that I gave you. And again, of course, you're not really familiar with these guitars, but hopefully my descriptions will help you a little bit to identify the guitars. So try to really use your ears and focus in on the differences here. And then afterwards, let me know which one is which in your opinion. Okay, here we go. Okay, interesting, right? Could you hear the differences between the guitars? Could you perhaps describe the differences? Were the differences subtle? Were the differences huge? Or somewhere in between, perhaps? And could you perhaps identify which guitar was which? Now, before we go on, please be honest and drop your guesses in the comment section down below. And let's just see how close we're gonna get with all these guesses. Now, I personally definitely did hear a quite significant difference between the guitars, and those differences definitely were significant enough for me, but this is a very subjective thing, of course, and we're not even talking about the feel and the looks of the guitars. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's just go ahead and check out the reveal, and I'll reveal which one was which, and let's see how close you guys got with your guesses. Here we go. Thank you. 
All right. So again, definitely let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. And again, just to repeat myself, I definitely could hear a quite significant difference between these guitars and the pickups. But whether that difference was also as significant for you is up for debate. So yeah, that's something to talk about for sure. The SC20 has this beautiful clarity, girth and tightness that the other ones don't seem to have. It's just a great guitar for rock and it really growls. I really love how this guitar sounds. As expected, the EC1000T full thickness with the EMG57 does sound more guttural and less bright up top. So slightly more compact and more leaning towards the low mids for sure. The NW4 sounds very bright and clear for sure with plenty of output and nice chunky lows. So it's really a sort of smiley face curve going on there. And of course the Phoenix with the Fishman Fluence Modern does have that typical compressed active pickup sound with that mid hump, you know, that compression and sort of a lack of low end to an extent. Some people love that tone, some people hate it. I think it's cool for certain types of tones. Now, of course, the amp and cab tone didn't change at all. And of course, those factors have a huge influence on the sound as well. So of course, there are gonna be huge similarities in between the tones here. But again, I have the feeling that the extent of the differences and similarities will be very subjective here. I'm of course the one who recorded the guitars and who played the guitars. So my opinion is also based on that. And that's why I'm very much interested in hearing your thoughts. So don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section down below. Now, finally, I also think we should take into account that the looks of a guitar, the feel, and of course, also the acoustic resonance do make a difference. And those factors are also important when playing your guitar. Those factors definitely should not be underestimated because they can play a huge part in how the experience is to play a guitar. When a guitar sounds good, also feels good and also looks good, it's gonna inspire you to play better. If a guitar sounds really good, but it plays really bad and it feels really bad, it's not gonna be very inspiring to play. So to me, feel and how it feels in your hands is a huge factor. So it's definitely not all about tone and that's definitely not the only important factor when it comes to how you experience playing and listening to a guitar. Having said that, in my humble opinion, no, not all pickups and guitars sound the same, definitely not. But again, let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are on the subject. That's all for this video. I hope you found it useful and that you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe down below as that really helps the channel out. I'd usually appreciate that. And you can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you soon. Cheers.